All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. We have a bunch of stuff to go over. We, we've got so many missions left to do. No messages for you, Commander. That was something that I took care of off screen because I felt I felt like Kelly Chambers was maybe not getting enough attention. Like she felt like maybe she wasn't appreciated the fact that I was just not checking any of my messages. Uh, we before we got started today, we had a couple of things that um, a couple of upgrades that we took, and uh, some of it is biotics, some of it is weapons, and some of it is armor. We'll we'll talk about that in a few minutes. As for today, we have a bunch of loyalty missions to do. And here's the one thing that I'll say. We're going to keep Jack until the very end. Not because Jack's is the best, but because of a very dumb gameplay reason. Uh, I think today I want to at least hit Samara's and hit Garrus's. Wh which one would you like to do first? I say we should do Samara's and also check out the Normandy crash site. Okay, that sounds like that's a, what I. Think. I think that's a that's a pretty pretty good way to go about it. Also, Samara's is a really really good loyalty quest because guess what? We're going back to Omega. Nice. I'm so happy to go back to Omega. Omega, is like. Is like the Mass Effect equivalent of one of the planets. Or, or, like, one of the cities that Jack would have gone to in Samurai Jack. Yeah, you're super right. It's, super... it's the one from the first episode. Yeah, yeah, like the super shitty mega metropolis where everything is spiky and on fire. Mm-hmm. It's a good place to be. Also, we get to it's see... It's a good uh... place to visit. It's not a good place to be. <laughs> no. No, you're right, you're right. Omega does come back in three... But only if you have DLC. Oh no. Nice. I fucking hate it so much. So guess who didn't have it when he first bought the game? This guy. Uh, we have a new appearance from Warden, which is a little bit darker. It fits the color, but it, it keeps his, his like lab coat appearance. Yeah. Let's see, we'll take Samara along with us. And Hmm. Who else could we bring? Zaid, maybe? It's been a while since we saw Zaid. It has been a quick minute. Zaid feels like a, like an Omega pick. Okay, so check this out. Because you liked it so much, we now have cryo ammo. We can just freeze people on contact. Nice. That'll be a thing that we do. Zaid gets some powers. Samara gets some powers. And, uh, oh, right, we also have, um... Death count on Omega is too high for me to pinpoint in Ardot Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardot Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. Perhaps. Take a look at our armor. We have a couple of changes here. Um, I believe I changed, I changed the middle piece, uh, to the Aegis Vest, which Yeah, it's us... got a cool, like, uh... EOD collar now. Yeah, kinda. And it's got uh, got that huge, like, 16-pack or whatever going on. Uh, it gives us yeah. a little bit more health. And our gauntlets give us some more spare ammo. So our sniper rifle is maybe even, even more deadly. Oh, by the way, I just want to point out the amount of damage that we're pumping out with the sniper at this point is only 3 out of 5. Wow. Come on, let me... So... In. Stuff's gonna keep happening. Let's go talk to Arya. Come on. Speaking of cool EOD callers, I've been playing Black Mage. Oh yeah? How do you like Black Mage? A lot more now that I've figured it out. The only thing I know about Black Mage is that it's Harry Dresden and that Arya it's super big damage. Arya has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? Yeah, what's up? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood. I love that everyone like the direction is such that you're you. going to be shouting like over music and happening. like crowds. That's right. What's the blood? That's an incredibly good detail. If you've met Patriarch, you know he can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people Afterlife is super loud. 
especially when he dips into non-fiction. Not only is it super loud, but the music is actually pretty chill. It sounds like Time Splitters music, which just... Yeah, a little bit. That's the perfect vibe. Really chill music played at maximum value. What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Battle trophy husband? Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle nut up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? Shut up and tell me. If Arya wants my help, she better tell me why. I'm not doing this for my health. Fine. Whatever gets you to take the job. If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on her payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. Oh, I'm into those. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. Sounds good to me. I'll be back when the job's done. Good luck. But first we gotta talk to Arya. What's up with Carrie Ann Moss? Yo, those later Matrix sequels what are pretty need? bad, but that's not what I'm here mm. to talk to you about. An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't Ooh. taken steps to kill her. Vampire. She hasn't tried to mm. seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I'd start looking. Anything else? No, we already asked about this. I will. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. It's in everybody's best interest to take care of this Asari vampire. You wanna talk? Talk to Arya. Alright, now what's up with this patriarch we're hearing about? Down here? No, no, I think he might be... I think he might be over here? Private room's locked. Eh. But yeah, so... Eh. Black Mage. What I've heard about Black Mage is just really big DPS if you know how to play it right. Which has me interested. It is incredibly strong. And... Maybe, maybe deceptively complex. Like, it seems more complicated than it is. Okay. But not to the same extent of Dancer. Dancer, is, Dancer is just... Dancer seems way complicated, but then you figure out what buttons do what, and it's like you're playing fucking DDR. That's what I like. That's I think that's what you pitched to me, and immediately I picked it up. Speaking of picking things up. Looks like our drinking habits finally caught up with us. Oh no. Fuck it up, Commander. A little poison never hurt anyone. Poison? How much did I drink? One drink. That's all it takes. That racist Batarian bastard. God damn Looks it. Like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Nobody told me Damn. about that. This is actually the first I'm hearing of this. At Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. Uh, well, fuck him. him yeah, fuck Humans him, but... Exactly held in high regard around here. So, this poison. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend I am a cyborg, I mean, I guess. Business. Yeah. He got real drunk. And an hour later, he was puking blood. Jesus. I think I'll go give that bartender a taste of his own medicine. He won't be expecting you. That's for sure. Give that Batarian bastard what he deserves. <laughs> All right. Dude. I mean, that was a real scummy way to walk off, but I believe you. I was like, uh... I mean, okay, so... Comparing, well, we're all like, fuck him, so... Comparing everything to Dark Souls is a little, you know, it's it's overdone. But at the same time, walking away from a conversation being like, Yeah, 
You go do that. <laughs> Just. <laughs> That's what I miss most. I really, I, I yeah. want to play that Demon Souls remake so bad. Because I just want to talk to... I want to talk to those levels again, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, what's up? Greetings. I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Cell. You look like a good person to know. Well, I, the last person I met poisoned me, so you seem nice. Friendly faces seem hard to come by around here. Reasonable people are more valuable than air in a place like this. Can I help you? You need something? Well, if you'd be so kind, I hoped you might consider a proposition. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. I don't believe that. Not illegal? I doubt it. Well, it's certainly legal on Omega. I can't be expected it's to illegal the here. in the galaxy, can I? Okay, what? What? what is this? I'm listening. I'm in the information business. Specifically, the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. I need that. It's always this. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? No. Find someone dude. else to do your dirty work. Fuck off. Of course. You're not the type to be interested in work that could change the face of a place like Omega. I'm sorry I bothered you. Wait, 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 wait. What? Don't be coy with me. I'm not in the mood. Ah. My mistake, of course. Just don't hit me. No Certain promises. people here have business deals with people throughout the galaxy. If we were to have information involving those deals, we could make some ripples around here. That's all I'll say. Ripples, you say? I'm listening. I'm in the information business. No, I, I, I know about that. All right. I, just I can someone. do that. My contacts use specific drop points. I need you to look outside Merib's shop on the Citadel and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package and bring those packages to me. Good luck, my friends. All right, that sounds like an off-screen fetch quest to me. I don't know about you. Literally go to the oh, Citadel. This better in. pay well. It better pay well. I honestly, I'm pretty sure that every time I've played this game, except maybe once, I don't think I've ever done that because I was like, that sure does sound like a fetch quest to me. Hey, second bar, come on. Oh, fuck it, I'll take one, come on. Build up my resistance slowly over time. And by slowly, I mean, like, now, in an afternoon. It has to happen now. This drink matches the neon on my armor. Man, two fingers doesn't seem like enough. Like to hold a gun and whatnot, I would want at least three. It depends on how strong and uh, and big the, the fingers are, right? Because they got three of them. Yeah, but look at the space between them. I feel like that would be a problem. The Turians probably have their own guns, right? Yeah, one, but one. still. It's kind of like the energy sword in Halo. Of like... This thing that... The energy sword in Halo is really cool to me, but it looks so unwieldy. But that's the point. It's designed to be wielded by a creature that has two fingers and not four. That's right. And that's why it looks so painful for the chief to hold. Don't worry about the bitrate, everybody. We'll, it'll, it'll stabilize eventually. Hey, for point. what it's worth, the bitrate actually looks pretty good. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. It's not... It doesn't really die when you do that. I'm happy to hear... Fuck I, if I know why. <laughs> Fucking, I, I, if I understood the way OBS does shit, if I understood anything about the way OBS does anything, this would be a much better stream than it is. Yo, Forvin. Do I know you? No, no, you humans all look the same. Here, have a drink on the house. Oh my god. Straight what up. What do you think these people will do when they find out you're poisoning your customers? Poisoning what now? This has nothing to do with you. Who's next? Turians? You don't like them either, right? Answer the damn question, Forvan. Yeah, fuck you, you Forvan. I'll leave your corpse for the fortune. Hell yes. Dude, can you join our squad? Any chances. Problem solved, I guess. I would have rather you made him drink it. That would have been way cooler. 
I think you can. I think you can make him drink it as a renegade prompt. Yeah, you didn't have enough renegade points. It was grayed out. Oh, man. No. You said he had close family. They'll just want revenge. Kill the family first. Then he'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. This smart. dude seems old. I don't think I seems know old and smart. I'm the patriarch. Well, you don't Where really get patriarch? to be one without being the other. What are you uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. What do you know about Arya? Uh, Fine, you don't really get to be old, but... Mm, was my you don't get to in be... In this a, kind of world. You don't in get this to kind be, of world. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Clothes on her back. You don't get to be an old Krogan without being smart. <laughs> yeah, I'll accept that. She killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came from apparently she can, this dude. Bar. Yeah, apparently. She tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones in my body, and left me alive. Oh. Organ redundancy, dude. Exactly. I decide to leave you alive. No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. Mm. So it's not even a question of business acumen. She just kicked his ass. Totally. Rumor has it Arya is no pushover, as it turns out. Know anything about that? I respect that. Well, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. A few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. Someone who wanted to weaken Arya might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. Dude, I already I like you enough to save you. enemies of my own. Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari Matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. You know what his performance me reminds me of? Advisor. What? And a trophy. Reminds me of John Goodman as Zeus in Disney's Hercules. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot like, of people. Like, I will, balls I in your will mouth. accept... I will accept John Goodman. Sorry, okay. Keeps me around as an example. Look, Disney's Black Hercules Einstein. is probably the worst movie out of I all of that era I of Disney. The story but, of is now. But also, some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course, Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Are you willing to die for pride? Perhaps Arya's reputation. Who do you think you're talking to? He did give Perhaps up. I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. Hey, hey, hey. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. Do you have any idea how many people I've killed in the last 48 hours alone? I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command, not just Arya's trophy. Yeah. You could be. You could be my Trent. Yeah, Fighting we're already one of those. If you yeah, it was cool. For me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. We are now a Krant in a clan of at least two. Hell yeah. Find the thugs in or near afterlife and kill them. Bastard deserved what he got. That's true, Ogren. He did deserve you gunning him down like immediate. Yes. Sorry, this is important. As always. Always important. Okay, well, now that that's taken care of, we can get on with our business. I got a mate and a ship. I only brought one of them with me to Omega. God, it's like the it's like the back of a like the back of a touristy fisherman t-shirt. Yeah. 
This planet is so shitty, but it looks really pretty. I guess keep an eye out for anybody that needs to be killed. Maybe I'm not the person to ask about that. Yeah, maybe not. Look, if you see anybody who has, like... Oh, these guys. Out of our way, human. Ah. Patriarch says hello. No guns. Shepard just socked that dude in the face. Well, okay then. That'll get you some renegade points. I hope so. I kind of forgot that that's how that went down. I always thought that, uh... I don't, I don't know why, in my mind, I always thought that turned into a little, you know, shootout. Like a tiny shootout. Because you'd think it would. But no, Shepard just punches him and it's done. I'm kind of a big fan of battles being decided in cutscenes if you have enough badass points. Also, check this out immediately, new bartender. Yeah, this one's a, a fucking no. turnover rate on Omega. Ogren has so many lines also. That's like the fourth incidental dialogue line. You killed them all. And everyone knows that the Patriarch is not to be crossed. How did you know about Thanks that? To you, Arya may think of me Probably heard the gunshots. <laughs> Just assume. Advisor, maybe. I would. Hey, don't let this happen again. Use this. Don't ever let anyone think you're weak again. Thanks to you, I am a Krogan. By the way... Thanks to you, apparently so am I. Aria. She will approve of what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. I think it reminds her too much of herself. It is a shame that we can't romance Arya. I'm sure she's got better things going on, but Femship and Arya together, that seems like a power couple. I was just gonna say, power couple. <clears throat> How are you gonna beat that combo? Alright, I think we're done with, uh, with this hallway. On to the next. Which is good. We... We've only seen this hallway maybe six times in the last two minutes. I knew a out on the front that looked like this. Me and some friends got stupid one night. Long story short, tempers fled, followed by pistols. We all got out, except my buddy Narka. Places like this are slaughterhouses, dressed as nightclubs. I shit you not. <laughs> Actually true. Zaid is pretty great, especially for a DLC character. Yeah, again, like, I'm not super familiar with Battlestar Galactica, but I believe that's where his on, voice actor is most famous from. Hmm. Which would totally fit, I given... I believe it. Yeah. I also believe that Zaid's voice actor has passed away in recent years, which I would also believe. But as a character... Yeah, he's he's good. You have to give him a little bit of time. You have to kind of spend some time with him. Uh, he doesn't lead with a very good first impression, especially... Well, we'll get to that later. Kicking that guy's ass. Are you here about my daughter? My nep died a week ago, and no one seems to care. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage. Oh, boy. It's not true. It was murder. Yeah. Someone killed my nep, my baby. Hey, look. I, I mean, it can be both. I believe it can be both. It can and probably is both. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? No. I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Tell me more about this very noir thing. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She it's a murder mystery. Mm. Only we already kind of know who the killer is. It's a she done it. Something did change in the I last guess so. weeks, though. She, she gotta, started talking about it. She's gotta, she gotta hunt it down, that's Morinth. all. 
I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. Oh, I know the type. What kind of a person was mm. this Morin? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morin. That yeah. sounds familiar. That does sound familiar. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. No, it's the not that simple. Just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter. Is she the one that? It's very, it's very I will probable. Bring justice to the one that did this. All right. Yes. We swear to you, Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> my baby. Oh boy. Did Neff hang out anywhere? It's a bad way to go too. She was always it is. Working here at home. If what is to be believed yeah. about like the way that Ardot Yakshi kill people going out all the time. It's rough. The VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morand. Tell me more about your daughter. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nef had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and uh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Nice. Said her work was fresh. Well. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. No, no, no. Hey. Thank you. I'm sorry. I just miss her so much. It's okay. I lost people too. We've all suffered loss. Only the guy that I, I lost was like way lamer. So I, I can only imagine that yours hurts you. a lot more. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. Caden also we loved the base. Respectful. I'll examine her things. Caden loved the sound of his own voice. She's very basic. She's very raspy. Henceforth. Yes, read the oldest entry. Read the oldest entry. I mean, if you combine those two qualities, you've just kind of got John Goodman. So we've already come full circle. Fair enough. He got our hair. The most beautiful Asari Kinda. dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Skewers sound we good. We all know how that turned out. We all know what happens when you go out for skewers. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. a girl like me and she's definitely not human just when we dance and the helix is flowing through me the way she looks at me with a hunger a longing no one's ever uh. looked at me like that i feel personally attacked tonight. read the newest entry <laughs> read the newest entry cycle 42 orbit 67 she's going to take me to her apartment tonight whatever happens I want to be with her forever. Oh no. She can sell my pieces. Oh man. We can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vienna that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Ah oh, boy, close the close, close it. the hollow Get journal. It. No. This is Morinth. <laughs> That's enough. She's attracted That's to artists enough. and creators. Someone with a spark, slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal, and she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest she sounds dangerous anyone who successfully she sounds like a piece of work for 400 years warrants caution Morin speaks to you on many levels her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy her scent evokes emotions long hidden her eyes promise you things you were all she's as much a professional as any of us i guess her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking perfect predator she sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. 
She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So what's the play here? You sound like you're working your way toward an idea. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. I'm sorry, what? I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup. I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. Oh. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Marinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. Okay, that's it. Yeah, let's do it. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Let's see if we can't maybe save somebody's life. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. A man from some gallery offered me four years' salary for it, but I'd never part with it. Oh, no. All right, Diana. Uh, we'll come back. We'll, we'll help you out in a little bit, all right? What a shame, this whole situation. Yeah. And what a shame for Samara, too. Like, imagine how much this must suck for her. VIP only. Three daughters, all of which turn out to be this. What do you want? What's back there, man? What's it behind this goes door? without saying. Don't, don't hit that. For those with the right name. Do you want something? Uh, what about Jarut? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife's nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Okay, I can deal with that. Here's something else. We finally got that little splash of orange color with the uh, Aegis vest. Nice. The the little straps on the shoulders are, are the only orange part. You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this. Until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. Okay, we got some mind control X-Men stuff going on here. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or oh, that come on. could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. Be cool, She'll want man. the moment she sees you. Be really, really protagonist cool. The way only a protagonist her? can. She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Yep. Violence excites her. Yep. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. I have killed many times. Getting her alone and falling under her sweat. Some might say too many times. I don't like Some to talk might to be those wrong. People, That's right. You, I don't appreciate that kind of negativity in my dojo. That's right. Okay. What other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halax. Mm. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Morin sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forta. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. All right, I think I can handle this. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake... Yeah, but disappear. I can save and reload. It's fine. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And okay. Shepard... Just wing thank it. You. Also, Samara I looks amazing this in this, like, chiaroscuro lighting. Soul, I can imagine mm. sharing it with. Like, her face is super high, uh, high fidelity. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Don't fuck it up. I just see punch, like, immediate punch. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I want, I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. Is that some sort of a band? What kind of music do they play? 
they're a sensory band. Like they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this is sorry, Dick. Oh hell yeah! I believe I could score way out of my league. You know, you, you gotta help me. Get away from me. I'm ready to punch someone, and you're too close. Oh my god! Relax, relax. It's cool. I'll step off. We're absolutely on the same wavelength, Femshep and me. The music here used to be avant-garde. Couldn't dance to it, but you felt smart listening to it. Who is talking? Who is oh, talking directly into my ear? Alright. Oh, hello you. What's up? Uh, hi. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? Slow down and tell me what the problem is. Right. Looks can Slow be deceiving, down. my friend. Sorry, I, I just don't know what to do. My friend Moiral is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Florid. He's the worst of the worst. Doing a piece? What is she doing? A vid piece. She's an investigative reporter, you know? She's trying to profile gang leaders. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Florid's on to her. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. How do you know this? You seem to have a lot of information. I'm her tech. I've been monitoring the gang's calm. The last transmission said Florence going to splatter her. Man, I'm a tech junkie. I don't know how to handle this. All right, all right, all right. Just, just, just tell me exactly what you want. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Florence, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order. Please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. Maybe. I'll think about it. Please do. Please. Remember, terminal and eternity. In that order, just work them into a sentence. Maybe. You seem like a narc. I hate this place. I don't know Everyone that it's necessarily it. super cool Everything to hang out with a narc. Uh, so, yeah, if you can't tell already, there's... There is a bunch of stuff that you can do in this room. There's like four or five different interactable prompts. You don't have to do all of them. Uh, you can pick and choose. And I don't talk to people. there's a little bit of replay uh, replay value in here. Something hmm. I can do for you, lady? Is there a public extranet terminal around here? The club? You don't have an Omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool's been broken for an eternity. <laughs> <laughs> That's so That's good. Break. I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florit. I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, my roll. I'm ready to head out. You can't be more on the nose if you try. Are you sure this is where you want to be? The white dove flies at midnight. Come on. I mean baby. my cell phone is broken. I'm a good tipper too. I told you to stay away from me. Playing hard to get? Give it up, baby. I'm sold. Leave me alone! Oh boy. Okay, come on. Don't be like that. I got cramps. We'll go back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. Yeah, don't don't mess you around with the, with the height. With the... I'll enjoy watching you use it. Oh, jeez. Okay, look, stop. Look, the lady don't asked touch. To step away. You want in on this transaction? Hey, I don't care if it's you or this bitch. I just like good times. Jesus, that fucking Jesse Jeff. Good times are over. <laughs> Thanks for that. Security was asleep. I forgot that you threw him out like Fresh Prince Bel Air style. All right. Good shit. Also dance. Hey. Hey. Let's dance. I'll dance next to you. If you want to think we're dancing together, go ahead. I do want to think that. I love these animations. <laughs> Shepard's like... Fucking... <laughs> like, okay. Shepard's barely interested. I've been I love it. But the You're camera the is loving it. Place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? That sounds incredible. Let's do that. Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? I know what I like. Do you? I like art. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Okay, deviant art. Do you know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. 
I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. How about Vanya? Do you know Vanya? My favorite. Vanya. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. Tell me about the. Uh... Hey, what do you think about just the cards? What do I think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I love Expel 10. I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. It's totally They're in like concert soon. Maybe we should go together. Not at all uh, not at all uh, incriminating, right? There are ways to enhance yeah. that. Totally not too convenient. Hey, what's your favorite video? I should watch it. What's your favorite band? I should listen to what's your favorite drug? I should take it. Alex. It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. I like to travel. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Mmm, I like danger. Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Okay, live journal. Violent places. Violence is the surest expression of power. Ooh. Honest, this is what I would like to pick. Because it... a little bit. Um... I like all of these. Do you think this conversation is about power? Of course it is. I sat down for a conversation, not a power struggle. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. Boom. We've done it. Done and done. So I think my favorite Good thing job. about this section is... Thank you. I think that my favorite thing about this section is not just that you can do it a couple of different ways, but that you can also totally fuck up right there at the end. Yeah. Oh, hey. Have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. All right, well, as romantic as this is, I'm going to poke around your apartment for a little... What about this? Hey, I'm just going to inspect this. I was into Doom for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. This whole thing is very... It's so cheesy, but I really like it. As a kid, I thought this was like, oh my god, it's so edgy. And as a slightly... As a kid who has facial hair and a job, instead, I'm like, oh my god, what the, what is going on here? A gift from a suitor. As an adult who knows what he likes. He did. That's right. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. Did you steal this from the Citadel? Because that would be pretty cool. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. Everything! Like, she's incapable of holding a conversation with a about anything without it devolving Without into talking this. about, like, killing people. It's so good. It's so good. Anything else? No, we're good. Tell me about coffee. I love giving a strong cup of coffee to someone right before right I, make before them I eat kill the class. them. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. Oh my god! Here, I know. It's muted, <laughs> and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? No. I'd rather fight than hide. Yes. Better to take control of your fate. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission. I think we share that, you and I. You compare us, but you're nowhere near my league. You're so a little too strong. obvious. I need this. Look into my eyes Ooh. and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Oh, the lighting Anything changed. I want. It did. So did her eyes. Oh yeah. no. I want you. I kill for you. Anything you want. Shh, darling. Just relax. Doesn't matter if you're obvious if you can just do this. Oh hey! Marin! Ugh. Mother. Do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter, mother. You made your choice long ago. 
what? So remember choice? when I called Samara an X Man? Yeah. You gave this is this is it. Moran. I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this, so I must die. You are a disease. To be it feels burned. like there's a lot of Nothing foley more. missing from this scene. There is. I don't Let know if it's the PC you. version or not, but the original version of this game, you, this was a much Let louder scene. This. Hmm. You are absolutely right about that. End of the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. This is a very X-Men scene. You're not wrong. It's very X-Men. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. Ooh. I am ready to that can't this be place easy to do. get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Hey, let's let's talk. Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no Wait, words. she was the smartest? I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Okay. Let's go. Um, yeah, so that scene plays out, uh, significantly better when the sound effects are in it. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, that's a, that's a cool little mission. I like spending more time on Omega. Morinth is super obvious. Here's the other thing that I, I want to point out to you. Yeah. So I mentioned at the very beginning that Zaid is your token evil squad mate. Mm -hmm. He's not. You can absolutely recruit Morinth if you kill Samara instead at the very end. Hmm. And there is like no reason to do it. Um, there's, there's no reason to do it at all. It's, it's, a, it's a profoundly stupid choice. It's cool to have Morinth around a little bit longer. Um, but the other thing that happens is that throughout your journey, Morinth is technically a romanceable uh, character and she'll keep trying to sleep with you. And if you do, she just kills you when you get a game over. People come yep. to places such as this, seeking a better life. And when I they have heard of this. this. Yeah. People forced into destitution on a world filled with criminals. If you were that type of they deserve person, protection. If I survive your mission, I may return here. To the abyss. All the vigilantes come in here to solve all the problems. That's right. Speaking of which... Friend. We should go talk to, uh, that mother again. If we can. Oh no, she left. She's gone. She's gone. Okay. I don't remember if there's a... In my mind, there's like a extra little conversation you can have with her. I think we might have just had it, though. Hmm. I think we're just about done with Omega for right now. We might have, uh, I'll come back here afterwards and, uh, you know, sweep up the, the remaining fetch quests and everything. And I'll end up recording that. So if I, if I do that part off stream and something happens, um, I'll, we'll, we'll do that. I'll, I'll let you know. But for the most part, I think we're just ready to move on. Which is good. With all of the stuff that we have left to do in the game, it feels good to have at least one planet that's kind of just done. Check the box and move on. That's right. Samara checked the box that says one daughter, and we checked the planet that says, uh, or checked the box that says one planet? That's right. Seems like a fair trade. And now let's move on to another uh, another interesting side quest. This one entirely DLC. Let's actually, do we have enough fuel to make it? Probably not. Well, there. you don't use fuel when you're in a star system, do you? Not in a star system, but in one of these you do. The uh, ah. little nebulas. All right, so what do we got here? The Normandy crash site. Sounds like a sounds like a fan service planet to me. I've heard of these fan service planets. Yeah, me too. Most of them you're not allowed to stream on. That's right. 
Alcara's crust is composed of carbon and water ice. While low density, its large size allows it to retain a thick atmosphere of methane and ammonia. It is believed that if Alcara had the same had acquired a bit more mass when the Amata star system formed, it would have formed the core of a second outer system gas giant. Alcara has three moons: Uluru, Wajana, uh, Wanjina, 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 and Baim. 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 Something on our sensors. Ooh. Okay. Let's go. Let's see what happened to all of our. There's all no, of our nameless former friends. There's no way to put this that's not like, let's go look at all of the corpses of our dead friends. They never have corpses. It's boring. Whenever you have something like this, or whenever you would watch those documentaries about the Titanic, you never see any skeletons. What if you got down here and, like, the entire Normandy crew was Jack Torrance at the end of The Shining? Yeah. They're all just, like... Head and shoulders above the snow, cross-eyed, looking angry. <laughs> That's a good look. That is a good look. And the lighting treats it very well. It does. It pops very nicely. Oh, yeah. This game treats color very well. Oh, that's the first thing you see. Yeah. So there was some news today about uh, some yeah. of the things, and of course, of course, it's at an angle. It's not. It's it's not even level because why would it? Why be? would it be? Uh, there was some news today about um, some of the things coming out from uh, Mass Effect One Remastered, or the Legendary Edition rather. Yeah. Uh, 4K apparently is one of them. Uh, 4K and. Uh, like enhanced graphics and everything it mostly just kind of looks like the mod that we're playing on right now uh but for mass effect one as well and um they also announced that they were going to fix quote unquote uh improve the handling of the mako so i know that i don't want that but some people might how can you improve upon perfection i say I mean, this is an EA-sponsored endeavor, so what if they just make it worse? Yeah, that is that is possible. I gotta see what... what you don't what's... sound thrilled about the possibility. I'm not. Holster weapon is H. Okay. This is a button that I actually really love. And I want to make a point of talking about the holster weapon button because it appears in Mass Effect 1, it appears in Mass Effect 2... They get rid of the ability to holster your weapon in Mass Effect 3, which makes it feel even more like Gears of War. But like the camera zooms out, you're dead center, and you just kind of get to you get to take a look around. Cuz moving around with your gun out feels super awkward. I'm not even playing the game and I can tell. Really really does. No. Oh. Galaxy map got fucked up too. There are a couple different places no, that. Uh, no choice words for the Mako. Uh, I love the Mako. The Mako is the best Mako, even better than Mako Tsunami. May it rest in Mako. It rest in peace. Spoke to the commander about this. I. All these damned aliens above the Alliance's most advanced ship. I just don't trust them. Especially that damned Asari. And a Corian. What does Shepard think this is? A zoo? With the Corian, it seems like she's on some kind of pilgrimage, trying to improve the lot of her home ship. I can understand that. I wouldn't babysit my ch I wouldn't let her babysit my children or anything. But if she has to be on board, I suppose that's not too bad. For a while now, and I'm taking a look back at past entries in this journal. Can't believe how blind I was at the time. I came on the ship firmly believing that humanity was on its own in the galaxy. But Shepard brought all these aliens on board, and there's no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. I'm proud to say I would die for any member of this crew, regardless of what world they were born on. Navigator Presley. Less of a racist when he died. 
Yeah. Which is good. We, we... It's good. We taught him a little something. Uh, Navigator Presley, I believe... At the time, he got a lot of hate. And, you know, justifiably. Also, a little Aurora Borealis there. A little bit. Uh, he definitely deserved the fan reception that he got. And they pull it back a little bit for, uh... Show he had at least some character development. Still, it's hard to walk back being like, what is this, a zoo? That's pretty That's bad. It's pretty hard to walk back. However, it hurts a little bit less when they give us so much Ezo. It's otherwise really hard to come across. Also worth mentioning... The, um, the planet that we landed on is rich in mineral deposits. So even that is... Uh, all, all of the DLC planets, I believe, are rich in minerals. Mm -hmm. Help give you uh, a little something extra for the money that you've spent. I still think that money wow, is... Wow, pay to win. Too much. I still think that money is too much. Especially in 2021... I had to fucking buy all of it a second time. But at least it's there. Ah, Joker. I can't believe he died. <laughs> oh, I'll remember you well, Seth Green. Oz from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He was a werewolf that played guitar. Cool he was also in uh, one of the Austin Powers movies. I forget which one. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was Doctor Evil's son. Yeah. Ah, it's been so long since I've. It's been so long since I've seen those movies. I want to say he was in the second one. Maybe I don't think it was the first one. I don't think he was in the first. He might have been in the second and third one. The only thing I remember about um, Goldmember is A, the name, and B, <laughs> the fact that it came out uh, in, like, the same release window as Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, which I saw in the theaters. Can't get up this way. I think I was at the theater watching Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, and... The trailer for uh, for Gold Member preceded it, and I was like, "Wow, I'm too young to understand." But a third Austin Powers movie seems like it's too much. Those movies were huge too for a time. Yeah. Something tells me they probably don't hold up very well. I've seen. A couple of them semi recently, and I thought that they held up. That might be an interesting thing to go back and see. You just kind of have to be like aware of what you're going into, I guess. You have to be aware. Uh, what? Fuck off! Get off my screen, Caden. Gross. I don't like it. I'm here to haunt you with my ghost, Commander. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, times and tastes have changed a little bit, but if, if you can, if you can put yourself back in the headspace of, um, you know, early to mid 2000s, then totally. I can, I can still see why the jokes might land. I mean, the whole point of those movies is that t the times have changed. Yeah. Well, it was, a, it was a pastiche on, uh, and, and like a parody on, um, on James Bond movies. But then James Bond movies have changed so dramatically. Like, you're not even getting Moonraker anymore, which is... No. Moonraker is practically an Austin Powers movie in and of itself. But now <laughs> you've got... Uh, now you've got uh, uh, Daniel Craig and super, uh, you know, super depressing James Bond, which I like those. Those movies are very good. Even Quantum of Solace, I think, is a good movie. But... Austin Powers seems like the kind of movie that I, I imagine they're trying to bring it back in some way. 
Like, Austin Powers has a kid, but then Austin Powers is like the old Sean Connery James Bond now. Man, you're fucking around, but that sounds like it'd be, it could be pretty good. I, that's the only way that I can see that working, right? Or, or you just do the Indiana Jones and the Temple of the Crystal Skull thing, or the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull thing, rather, and you just have him be really old and do everything anyway. Like, nothing has changed. I was gonna say, like, how's Mike Myers looking these days? Probably bad. He didn't look great at the time. Don't get me wrong, he was great on SNL. He was great in Shrek. But he Shrek was pretty was a, good in Shrek. Shrek was a long time ago. Ooh, more Ezo. All right. We have a couple of places that we can put the we can put the monument. But there's one place that is like the place. I want to put and it I on think the Mako. You, yeah, I'm glad I didn't even have to spell it out. I don't know if they let me or not. The closest that it is possible to get to the Mako is where you should put it. I'd like to put it here. Can I put it on the Mako? What is this? What is this? Okay, here. I was gonna say, don't do the Mako dirty. <clears throat> Shine on, you crazy diamond. Neat. It's surprising that there is no dialogue at all. No, no dialogue. Just, uh, remember. Try to remember the kind of September. All right, let's go, guys. Also, why do I get the feeling just looking at the Mako that it totally still works? Oh, yeah. Mako is built to last. Unless you're fighting one of those Thresher Maws. That's a different story. It's a little bit. A monument has been placed at the last resting place of the SSV Normandy on Alcara, and the ma families of all missing crew members have been notified of their ultimate sacrifice. Good a, work. It's a nice, it's a nice mission. I don't remember how much that cost at the time. Mm, probably more than Zaid, and less. Probably than too much. It might have been free. I don't think it was free, but it might have been free. There was. It so probably costs too much for something that has no like actual game design and no dialogue. That's yeah. what I'm gonna say. Although, I kind of I kind of like that it has no dialogue. I'm not gonna lie. I can appreciate that. I would have hoped for at least a few parting words for the Mako. That's true. But that's just me. I honestly, I had the sinking feeling in my chest that, like, we weren't going to be able to put the monument down. But we could, and that's all that matters. Let's see. Let's help Garrus this time. Garrus Can't been go wrong to... helping Garrus. We've, we've already hunted down one criminal. We might as well hunt down a second criminal. We might be able to help Thane while we're at it. Actually, we probably should. Might. Both of these. Should. Ah, man. These missions are both pretty good. It's hard. You're hard pressed to find a bad mission in Mass Effect 2, except for that one mission that's awful. Like, conspicuously bad. Like, they always this? do. They always do the human crew members who aren't Miranda dirty. That's right. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, you know, we, we'll we get into this obviously in the next game, but they fucking do it again in the third game. And it's like... Miranda... What are you, racist? Miranda, are you racist against humans? <laughs> All you humans look the same. Says the Turian looking at Ashley and Miranda next to each other. Oh no, we've come full circle again. Wait, which one is which? 
You, what if you what if you walked over to Miranda and it just said Australian Ashley instead of Miranda? <laughs> um Fane and Garrus. It just says Ashley but upside down. Ash Ashley but upside down is pretty good. I'm gonna buy this. Buy this one. Garrus. Can't afford anything yet. Thane. You got some stuff. Thane is great. Thane's got like a, a little bit of that um I found references to a forger named Fade in CSEC crime reports, Shepard. Perhaps that is a good place to start looking. Also, according to CSEC, got it. a drill recently passed through customs. The CSEC office may have more information. Noted. I'm just happy to be back on the Citadel. You're a third-rate biotic with a fourth-rate amp. Yugi. You think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy? I know c -Sec too well to believe that's true. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here ten years ago. <laughs> nice. This is a hell of a team that we're with. Yeah? Yes? I'm looking for Fade. I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division's side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? <laughs> if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. That's There's a enough. warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. Both but bad. you're outside CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Oh, Captain Bailey's great, and he gets better with every game. Um... You know, the thing about Fade is just by the name, you know what you know what it reminds me of? I mean, a mutual acquaintance of ours, but otherwise, no. Well, there, there's that, but the name Fade as an alias reminds me of that dude that you meet in Human Revolution who's got like a 4chan hat on, and Jensen is just like, I can't. I don't want to talk to this guy. <laughs> like, are you? Are we really doing the the mystic bullshit password system? You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. What can I get you? I would take space ramen. This I would go for some Earth ramen right about now. I'm pretty hungry. I kind of miss ramen. I haven't been able to have it for years. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not. Just because I'm a Quarian. I need you to stop and the take Volus a deep The Volus are like breath. the Mass Effect You're Ferengi. Me. Earth Clan. I could not trust them Just less. Because the Vol Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. Hey, what's going on here? You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn shit. Maybe it fell. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the shit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. You say she stole your credit shit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. So she ran into you? How does running into you mean she stole your credit shit? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and what use pockets? that as a cover for rifling your pockets. We've all played Yakuza Turn games. Back on these you don't have pockets! Quarians, thieves, all of them. Oh boy. What about you, Kappa? Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely. Oh my a god. Baby. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. Wait, no, okay, hold on. I'll. Clearly, you have no idea what you're doing. 
I'll see if I can find Clearly what you're a racist. Ma'am, this is a C sec matter. We'll do what, all with we that fly. with that facial hair? That all why do I have to wear a mask in the target facial we hair? Don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, why would you say that? One of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. Shut up. I'll deal with you later. This looks like You would think Garrus would have something to say. Thug should be inside. You would. Also, we'll we'll head in there later. Uh, cuz that that's that's progress. Obviously, we want to do progress last. Certa Foundation. Always do progress last. Hey you. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Certa Foundation outlet on Zakir Award. Want an endorsement? I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales yeah, but I funds am, research to cure genetic diseases. You know, it would make your services more popular. An endorsement, an endorsement? who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're a shepherd, aren't you? Is this I a paragon option? My employee yeah. Discount if you would do that for us, it's a deal. Because the renegade option is Just this, but me. Just speaking to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Yeah! Into our advertising at once. You've heard that. Thank you. <laughs> but it gets better, too. Hold on. What, 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 what can we get here? Life support webbing? That's pretty good. Uh, medical upgrade? Uh, we already have one of those. Uh, give me that shit. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me about the shit. Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit oh, chip? Oh, I woke up my cat. And now that I saw, Aww. he didn't purchase Poor cat. anything. Avolus was in here not too long ago. And now that I saw. Okay. Oh no, is it time for short term memory shepherd again? Come back soon, shepherd. A little bit. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with Hmm. Hmm? Anto Bakhtal is a member of the criminal organization headed up by Arya Talok, often considered the Pirate Queen of Omega. Sick! While Arya's gang is mostly airtight, Anto has an eye toward outside work. Whether this is an exploitable hole, we're not sure. This is Arya Talok, after all. I'll take that. Oh, that's for Ish. Okay. Welcome to Sarenus Applications. Can I address you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. I was. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Yeah. It got Please, better. look around the store. <clears throat> it's a pleasure to have you here. Hey. You know, I use quite Want a bit an of endorsement? in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point and go nav interfaces anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any I love the nod. Who defeated Saren? <laughs> I, I, I love really? Bane's little nod. I don't He's a yeah. Think I could afford yeah, to totally. pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Yeah, how about Absolutely. a discount, right? Just speaking to my console here. <clears throat> Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. That will be splendid. <laughs> I can say that I have it working right away. <laughs> Thank you so much. What do you got to sell? Uh, I'll take this. We can use this. This is valuable. We can use this. Alright. Later, man. Let's take a look around here. There there might be there might be some more stuff. This feels like a this feels like a pretty big area. Yeah. I felt her hand go into my pocket. When I checked, my credit chit was gone. Hey, we heard a little something about I didn't this. Even touch you. Please move along. Oh no, nothing, nothing yet. Be careful out there. We still gotta find that shit. Should we go in? Yeah, let's go in. Just refund an exchange, and I was told to pick up a new Omni Jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. So that's a dude from Mass Effect One, who uh, I said this a little bit before, but he's been trying to get that discount for a full game at this point. That's wonderful. Two years. Two years, a death and rebirth. A whole galaxy. And a whole was Normandy. A whole new Normandy. Fade? You're not quite how I imagined you. <sighs> no, that's totally how I imagined him. Me. Yeah, a little bit. <sighs> so, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. 
Uh, I did not skip that line. That's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it. Quick, shoot them. Shoot them. Nope, okay. I'll do it. Too slow. Too slow. Why do I even bother? <laughs> we need to find a client of yours. I suggest you cooperate. You got no time to mess around, all right? I'm not the one you want to talk to. I'm not Fade. I knew it. Well, then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Yes, Gareth steps up to the microphone to breathe. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're Harkin! That Good fucking Harkin. guy. I remember him. How the hell did Harkin end up being the fade? Well, he got fired from Of course he did. Back. He was a drunk. He used his knowledge of CSEC and their systems to help a few people disappear. Then he made himself disappear, and Thade was born. Oh my god. So to speak. That's so dumb. Interesting. So dumb. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to seeing Harkin again. I'm sure he'll be excited to see both of us. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. We didn't get to beat so the crap I, out of him uh, in the first game. I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, that's a great read. That's a great read. I fucking love Garrus, dude. He's the best. Garrus is really good. Also, whoever is the dude that's voicing all of the Volus is similarly pretty great. Yeah. I guess there's nothing in here. Hopefully that dude will get his Look, refund eventually. It took me a long time to get this refund. It's a Cision Omnigel converter. He said there'd be one waiting for me. Do you have a service order? No, I got the refund, made the exchange, and then he said go to the warehouse. Dude just sounds like Canada to me. This poor man. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Yeah, you love it. You love to see it. I do, and it happens every time. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> <laughs> Your word means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. Mm, the meat isn't fresh out here, but you won't find any better dried seaweed. I guess keep an eye out for this credit shit. There's a Volus outside who lost his credit chip. Oh, there we are. Did you happen to see him drop it anywhere? I don't recall any other Vol clan entering my showroom today. Just that migrant clan girl putting her fingers all over the brochure. Oh, man. Why does it have to be like this all the time with you guys? We'll come back to this. This will be something that we Everybody saw in this game might as well be like the Neighborhood Watch Association in Hot Fuzz. Oh boy, a little bit. A little bit. Trusty jumpers. Oh shit. Crusty Jugglers is pretty good. A great big bushy beard! I think about Crusty Jugglers a lot. Yes? Like a lot, a lot. Yeah. I'm trying to find a local fortune. Yeah, I know. Where can we find Where can we find There's Harkin? There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some I should fate. be going. You need anything else? Let me know. You didn't happen to catch where Harkin actually was, did you? Garrus, an eye for an eye. Hail a cat. Okay, just go travel. Travel to an outside, uh, outside place. Yeah, that's right. I wish I knew where I rem I wish I remember where this credit shit was. It might just be lying around maybe in the quest zone. Sometimes that happens. I don't know. I got a I got a pitch for you. Okay. What if the Citadel or like something with a similar size and design of the Citadel was the setting for an open world game? Yeah, totally. Like, imagine you're playing, like, your Grand Theft Autos, your Saints Rose, and you look up, and you just see a different district above your head. 
Yes, that would be rad. You could, or, or like, you could, you could have like a GTA style game inside of a Dyson sphere. That would be pretty cool. Come on, Thane. What? I'm gonna kick Thane out of the group? I don't think so. Yeah, I think no, I mean, not. again, that's what people have been wanting from the series for a long time. Is like, I don't necessarily want a Mass Effect Four with Commander Shepard. I kind of just want a Mass Effect game where I play as Garrus or somebody like him on the Citadel or on Omega. And just like It would be really cool to play as a different race because then they would have to either conform Shepherd? confirm or deny that theory with the Asari. Don't just stand there, stop him. I will stop tell him. you that uh, the multiplayer in 3 allows well, you, you to play as just about we'll everyone. Find you. Hmm. Including Volus. Get to play as the bolus. Yeah, you do. Firing eye impact shot. There's a really good um, bang. There's Firing a, a high impact shot straight into the microphone. Right on your ass. <laughs> Ooh, hey, it's trash. I love trash. I love trash. I miss Oscar the Grouch. Oh wow, I didn't even shoot that one. It's also not super necessary for me to climb into one of these, but... Or to zoom in for every shot. But you can, and therefore you should. The slowdown makes it always worth it. Get him right in the robo-haunch. The robo-haunch. Multi-level cover. One less to worry about. <clears throat> Garrus is still loving it. <clears throat> Some right. My cat is doing strange things. My impact shot. <laughs> Impressive. Sorry. I'm sorry, say that again. My cat is doing strange things. Oh, okay. Like what? Like sitting in one place and just kind of twitching. Oh, cats do that. That's not super. I mean, it's strange. That's not unusual, though. Careful. Rerouting power. Anybody else? Anybody else want to step up to get knocked down? Probably not. Jump up to get down. That's right. Now I'm coming up. So I would suggest getting the party started. I'm coming up, so you better. I think she heaved on my carpet just a tiny bit. Oh no! I mean, that's also something that cats do, but oh no. Yeah. Better on my carpet than on my bed, I guess. That's true. Harkin's in here somewhere. I can smell him. I would not like to smell Harkin. Harkin probably smells like old whiskey and cheap porn. I had guess. Yeah, none of that expensive stuff. None of that expensive porn. None of that Hanar stuff. He only gets the Volus mags. No Krogasm. I was gonna say, I think that the highest price range would be Krogan. It's a... Because they would be... You would be able to get the super cheap stuff and the super expensive, like, auteur stuff. It's, it's for discerning customers only. Also, this freezing, like, ammo is super, super good. It seems pretty good. What's the trade-off? Um, the trade Surely there's a trade-off. The trade-off is that the, the freezing effect doesn't last very long if you don't upgrade it. And also that it doesn't, like, shatter on its own. It needs to be shattered. So it's like... Uh, but, I mean, it seems like you just shoot him again and it works. You know when you're playing... Um, damn it. Who shot me? You shot me. Yeah, and your, your squad mates can take care of it pretty easily. Um, you know when you're playing Mass Effect? And, sorry, when you're playing uh, Half-Life? Yeah, that's what that game is called. Half-Life... And you have those uh, head crabs that get you down to one HP. Uh huh. It's like that. Scratch one. 
There we go. Oh, that's also something that we got. We we got to upgrade to our um, heavy pistol damage. I believe it does plus 50% to armor? Yeah, yeah. That's what I got. Nice, nice. That was the other thing. Ooh, iridium. I'll take that. I gotta actually maybe not get shot this time. How about that? That'd be a good idea. I mean, it's happened twice already. Shepard's pretty good at getting shot, though. Yeah. I'm not terribly worried. It's just a. It's, it's it a took bit getting of... space to kill you. That's right, and even that didn't take. Didn't quite do the job. Shepard is like a Saiyan. Every time that she dies, she just get. Every time she nearly dies, she gets significantly getting stronger. Close. To the point that it's totally unfair. You get significantly stronger and a new Look arc out. begins. Mm hmm. Look out. You just gotta hope that. You just gotta hope that you can bullshit your way into uh, a new. a new method of resurrection. The final saga of Dragon Ball Super happens, and Goku has to decide what color ending he wants. But if you complain loud enough at Akira Toriyama, he'll rewrite the ending into an also bad one. I'll hold them. And then claim that it wasn't because of that. Oh boy. Time to die! Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, the, the worst part about the um, the ice ammo is that. Okay. The worst part about the ice ammo <laughs> is the fact that uh, you cannot shoot them twice and have them blow up. Like, if you shoot them, you just prolong the freezing. Blow. You need one of your other guys to shoot them. Hmm. God, that's it's so much. Down. It sounds like somebody is crunching on the microphone. It's like when Man, you're, I'm hungry. It's like when you're playing uh, playing Team Fortress 2, and some dude or CS:GO, I guess, is, an, is is a more modern example. But some dude, somebody, is just like, somebody who was born later than us might understand. And some dude just has his mic, like a hot mic, but he's got a fan blowing on it. Or you know, like when you when you talk to me, he's just blowing into it, <laughs> like full air stream, straight into the mic. Like Fade sometimes does. Yeah. But it's always funny. Not that one. Not that one. The no, other not that one. one. The, the good one. That's right. Harkin would blow into a mic. <laughs> what the hell is Harkin up to? I don't know what Harkin's up to. I mean, I know what Harkin's up to, but I don't know what Harkin's up to. Forged IDs. Everyone could use a forged ID, let's be honest. Journal updated. Find use for ID. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite identity on the Citadel. <laughs> it's like when I open some packaging thing that I just got, and there's like five twist ties inside it, and then something... I close my eyes and I just see... Journal updated. Find use for twist ties. It's like when you, uh, when you were a kid. bad. And you would buy, like, a Transformer a or something from Walmart. No you take it home, and it's like, why are there 15 fucking twist ties on this plastic prison that I can't get this thing out of? You seem to be getting tense, Garrus. This thing is held in a higher no security than Jack. If so, he knows why we're here, <laughs> and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. I would always feel like I was going to break it, too. Just trying to take it out of the plastic wrap. Because you were a kid, you weren't allowed to use a knife. No, but also... And, and you were like, it seems like everywhere I go, people are enjoying knives. That's right. What are you going to do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real criminal now, working for the Blue Suns. I should just shoot him on sight. But I need him alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. Just enough to loosen his tongue. Kind of like what happened to you? Whatever it takes. Exactly. 
I know you'd understand. See, it's a joke because half of his mouth is gone. Got waiting for us in there. Yeah, Garrus is sure looking really good like for a guy who took a rocket to the face. Machinery. Mm -hmm. Could be anything. Something's in there. Probably more blue suns. Harkin's kind of trapped himself in the corner. Have you been thinking about who you want to date on our crew? What are you going to do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real criminal, but... No, I haven't. If so, I won't do any permanent damage. Well, think Just about it. Start thinking about it. Tongue. Well, there's one way to find out. Right behind you. You got a Mac I on mean, somebody. It's your Commander Shepard. You decide. It's our Commander Shepard. I should be able to just hit him from here. But I can't. Got that blast glass. This is one of those guns that you fire it, and you just see... Like, it jump cuts to a shot of the planet, and you just see a line zooming off into space. It just doesn't stop. It reminds me of the very first episode of the Netflix uh, Punisher version, where... It shows a dude through the scope of a sniper rifle, and you hear the shot being fired, and then it pulls out in a tracking shot for, like, a good four seconds, Shepherd, and then it hits the him. The crates in the transport carriers overhead are Pretty like, good. I like it. Yeah, it, it pulls out, like, uh... The part, the part that, I, that I, I'm not conveying here is that the camera pulls out to where Frank actually is, and he's like half a mile away. It's a very good opening moment. Yeah. I never did finish it. There we go. That's enough of that. Harkin, That's son of a Quite bitch. enough. He might as well be T-posing up there. He's not, but he might as well be. He's got a little bit of, like, ambient noise to his model. And they didn't have to He's do that. He's looking around a bit. They didn't. I don't think almost anybody would have expected them to. I'm kind of surprised that he is, like, visible at all. Yeah, that is... That alone is significant. It doesn't matter, of course. No, but it's significant. He won't be moving around that much longer, I'll tell you that for free. Then he told me of the significance. There it we go. will be significant. Lo and behold. Money. Lo and behold, it was significant. It was indeed significant. We're going to have a tough time going through Jade Empire. Because... Oh my god, don't even get me started. Jade Empire is very much going to, like, to the point that I think I need to re-watch Kung Pao. I was just gonna say, I need to watch that fucking movie again. Oh, crap. So I can be ready. And I need to... I'm gonna need to understand... I do. I do believe I can take you down. Um, I'm gonna need to understand, like, half of what you're talking about, too. Because <laughs> I know the basics, but I don't know all there is to know. Alright, hold on, hold on a second. Let me just, uh, let me just, let me just do one of these. Yeah, that ought to do it. Fighting these things is awesome. Can you use ammo powers on your rifle? Yes, I'm Listen, <laughs> don't tempt me. I have been fighting the urge to just blow into my microphone ever since you brought that up. Yeah, you totally can. Uh, you can't do that. You you can do uh, the ammo powers on your on your sniper. Son of a bitch. What else? I'm just saying. Be careful what you wish for. He's desperate. Don't you see? You can't make it. You never make it. Never. Never ever. Come on. Get up. Get that cardio. Get that cardio. Practice your volts. That's right. Hey, dude, who was like vaguely rude. Well, not vaguely, but who was rude to me in passing at the beginning of the first game. 
I'm going to shoot you in the head. Who the fuck is he again? I actually don't remember. What did he say? When we first showed up to the nightclub in the wards, he was like drunk on the on on his break. You were close, but not. And he close was enough. like, "Oh, you seem like a stripper." Oh yeah, that guy. He was like, "Can I pay you for so a lap dance fade. or something?" Couldn't make yourself disappear. We were looking huh? for Tally and Garrus Come at the time. On, Garrus. We can work this out. What do you need? Also, missing Foley again. A little I'm bit. looking for someone. Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. That had a hurt. Maybe you should just tell us what we want. I was just thinking about getting kneed in the crotch Maybe. by one of like Garrus's. Still haven't heard what you like, want. Whatever that you armor had is. Yeah. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sidonis. Turian came from the... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. I'm just... Dude, come on. Is this information really worth all the trouble? I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. Business, <gasps> you say? You know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right. Get there you go. Me. Garrus is Batman now. <laughs> Terminus really changed you, huh, Garrus? No, but Sidonis... Open my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. Don't fuck around with I Garrus. I fucking, fucking love Garrus, dude. He's the best. Garrus is pretty good. What if I told you that you could romance Garrus? I would tell you I know. Yeah, it's me. There's a chance of your you identity know. may be compromised. How can you I've not never know? played these games. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So if our business is done, I'll be going. I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. That's true. So, what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. Eh. Eh. Maybe give the blood trail to follow. Mmm. Bastard! Did you really need to do that, Garrus? He'll survive. And maybe he'll think twice before he tries something like this again. c -Sec won't let that happen, and you know it. Lucky I actually you, changed my mind at the very last second, but I didn't press it fast enough. <laughs> Screw you, Garrus! Well, hey, guess on, what? Let's move. Sidonis I don't be mind because he's not dead. Finish the job. At the very least, like shooting him once in the leg to make sure he doesn't get away from the police, I'm okay with that. This is the first. Oh, oh no! Harkins a what? You see that? Yeah. You see that? Render go. fuck up to be a little punished. bit. It was, it was almost like a stylistic thing. Almost, but it wasn't. I'm a little worried about you, Garrus. Oh man. Pretty hard on Harkin. You don't think he deserved it? This is not like you. What do you want from me, Shepard? What would you do if someone betrayed you? Well, the last time somebody betrayed me, uh I'm not sure. But I wouldn't let it change me. I would have said the same thing before it happened to me. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sidonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Here's the line Nobody that I draw, cares. right? I don't see any other options. Right. We didn't kill Harkin. Let me talk to him. Talk we did. Want, we didn't kill Harkin. I don't we care. didn't what kill his were. He uh, Malin. Us. He deserves to die. If Garrus had tried to kill Harkin, I would have said no to that. But like mm. capping him a little bit in the in the I leg, that's that's again. okay. I appreciate that. I need to set up. Go do your thing, man. Just, you know, take a I little bit a of a chill pill. shot from over there. <clears throat> All right, how's this going to go down? What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Mm. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. He'll be here soon. Then again. Oh, there it is. He's doing a, he's, he's doing a flash step. 
He's just moving really fast. He has learned the art of the instant transmission. You'll never see me coming, Shepard. Not if I activate my Sharing gun. Shepard. Oh, like you that, see that gun yeah. going nuts a bit? Why is it doing this? I mean, I am intimately familiar with that kind of visual bug. And it's... that's on a completely different level from everything else that's happening here. Leave him over and keep him talking. Why not just pop him now? I don't know. Because he wants to hear the reason, I guess? Yeah, we gotta get him talking a little Let's bit. Let's get this over with. Because this is about closure more You're than anything. Shot. Move to the mm -hmm. side. No. Listen, Sidonis. I'm here to help you. Don't ever say that name aloud. I'm a friend of Garrus's. No. He wants you dead. My terminal has been broken. Necessary. Garrus, eternity. is this some kind of joke? Damn it, Shepard. If he moves, I'm taking the shot. You're not kidding, are you? Don't move, dude. Screw this. I'm not sticking around here to find out. Tell Garrus I had my own problems. Take, hey, stop. I Get failed the me. last prompt. I'm, I'm not going to do this one, too. standing between you and a hole in the head. Fuck. Look, I didn't want to do it. I didn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. They got to me. Said they'd kill me if I didn't help. What was I supposed to do? Let me take the shot, Shepard. He's a damn coward. Oh, boy. Here's the thing. Here's my real reason for this. I kind of regret let letting Garrus kill that dude in the first game for, like, no reason whatsoever. I, I mean, that dude was a bastard, wasn't he? He was. He was way worse. This guy? He's just chickening out of a deal, right? Like... Uh-huh. I'm not... I don't want, to, I don't want to Garrus yourself? to do this. I know what I did. I know they died because of me. I have to live with that. I wake up every night... Sick. This whole thing is in slow Sweating. motion because Garrus has like Each of their faces advanced reflexes turned on. How about that? Using me. I'm already a dead man. I don't sleep. Food is no taste. Some days I just want it to be over. Just give me the chance. No. He's already paying for his crime, Garrus. Let him go. He's still got more to pay. Ten men are dead because of him. Will killing the eleventh bring them back? They they deserve better. Tell Garrus. I guess there's nothing I can say to make it right. Just go. Tell him to go. Just Don't give waste him a this. Second chance, sit on us. Don't waste it. Straight up. I'll try, Garrus. I'll make it up to you somehow. Thank you for talking to him. I kind of didn't. I, I'm conflicted on this too. I'm not down with the cold-blooded murder of an unarmed guy. I, for one, am super down with revenge. I know you want to talk about I, I love revenge. I you yet. know this about me. I know this about you. I know it didn't go the way you planned, but I think it's for the best. I'm not so sure. Give it time. Yeah. Maybe that'll be enough. Maybe this is the no, that no, Batarian right poison water. Finally my catching men, up with us. They deserve to be avenged. Maybe. But when Sedonis was in my sights, I just couldn't do it. Maybe Shepard is still a little bit tipsy. Maybe a little bit sauced. And maybe that's why this is coming off as such a strange diversion of morality. The lines between maybe. good and evil blur when we're looking at people we know. The lines between yeah, good and blur. Still good good and evil blur when you drink a so lot. Jesus Let me tell you. Black and white. Gray. I don't know what to do with gray. Well, you know what they say about instincts. black and white. You mix them together, My you get gray. Doesn't matter how much mess. white you try to put back into it, all you're ever going to get is gray. That's Thanks, probably Shepard. not what you want right. to hear right now, Perfect. Garrus. Go home. Let's get going. Go to I sleep. Need some distance from this place. I'm with you. Passes out. Hell yes. Sniper rifle damage increase. Increases damage by 40%. Holy shit. I forgot that we got that. That's too much. We can already take down like an in, like a what? A bar and a half of your of uh Ymir mech health. If Sovereign yeah. somehow shows up again, you can just blast the giant hole in him. That's what I'm and thinking. that'll be the end of that. Custody and charges are pending. 
That's the least that bastard deserves. Also Nobody died. To CSEC, a drill recently passed through customs. The CSEC office may have more information. Yes? Hey, what about Thane's son? My associate's trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drill here. There we go. One of my men reported a drill recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. Duct rat? What was it you called, Mouse? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. That sounds dangerous. Aren't the ducks dangerous? Yeah, gravity's a bitch. Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Oh Lacerated no! Lacerated by fan blades. Oh no! Broken by a deadfall. Oh no! Suffocated by vacuum exposure. Holy shit! Those are just the ones we know about. Mm -hmm. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. What did you now just call survived me? survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. Oh man, this reminds me of like a, uh, like a. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about this when we're done with this. What when we walk around a little bit. Been getting himself into. You know uh, what the word of the day is? People. Dire. Duct rats take whatever is available. Yes, to get but by. also claustrophobia. Fencing, stolen oh, goods, claustrophobia. Selling That's illegal VI personnel. Thought you were gonna say duct. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me. Dire, but yeah, also dark. The file, it would say, I delete data like you on the way to real errors. That's pretty extreme, Commander. Laugh it up, Garrus. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake and you should fix the problem yourself. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. I've heard enough. Mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. The Dark he Star. Works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy is running with the wrong crowd. I would yes, love to get a VTuber if of Shepherd. Get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know. Yeah. I'll help you if you need it. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? Cuz Bailey's cool. I've worked to care for 2 years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. We better hurry then. You what if Mark Mir just started VTubing someone? I would... As Shepard. Oh, okay. that would that would be pretty. He would be really really good at it. I also didn't tell him what you do for a living. Do you normally discuss assassinations with the police? I take your point. Thank you, Shepard. Don't make a habit of it. Don't mention it. I'm happy to help you. Always. I'm actually happy to help you. You seem awesome. Let's save somebody from killing somebody else. See the Dark Star, huh? That seems to be the agenda for the day is stop murder. Stop murder. Not necessarily don't kill, because sometimes you gotta kill, but don't murder. Is a different Is your captain's cabin missing that certain something by a pet? Oh, a fish. <laughs> we do have a we do have a space hamster. Is the space hamster dead too? No, space hamster's fine. Yeah, yeah. I can get space that. hamster's no immortal. Well, okay, that might be more difficult. Well, no, we can just fine. pick up a mouse I instead. Some can strip the copy protection. Space mouse. It just costs more. Yeah, I got the package. It'll... Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse. What are you- Oh shit. Krios. I thought you retired. Commander Shepard? Retirement. I thought you me. died. What do you want with me? I've been getting that a lot lately. Be still, Mouse. <clears throat> you can change your pants in a moment. You know Thane, huh? How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same Mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. What is this stance? Children would gather information on my targets. You have no drip. What is this stance? <laughs> children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. 
Yeah, we've played the Yakuza games. You gave another drill mm -hmm. instructions for an assassination. That's like a whole thing. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't Those ask. who operate underneath the, the scene. For? That's right. We don't have time for this. Garrus showed me how to do this 20 oh, minutes God. ago. Dane, help me. Help that me was most. pretty cool. My son is out there in the dark. That's why I carried for him. I thought you'd want me to. Please. Explain. He came in, said he was looking for work. He had a hollow of me, the, the one you took, Krios. I put the word out. Use your old contacts. Elias wanted to hire him. Elias Kellum. Oh man, we're really shoving our foot in his neck there. Yeah. That's a laceration. Man, why do these fucking combat armors always look like fucking feety pajamas? Answer me that. Cause feety They're like pajamas feety pajamas with a, with a fucking boot tread on them. Because space is cold. One other thing. Space I is cold. VI I can't argue someone? with that. Oh shit, you heard- Look, you were dead. It was totally legal to make a VI of you. I mean, that's fine, but I want to cut. You made money using my likeness. I think I deserve some of the profits. Don't you? Oh, why didn't so you say I want one? How about I just transfer some money I to do you? want one. I mean, you know, why bother with all the lawyers and taxes and junk, huh? Hey, tell me more about my VTuber. One other thing. That Shepard VI you're selling? Sorry if the cut seems small. It's Vola software. And they're pretty small. They like to sell cheap, but in bulk. Tell me about Kellum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked all in the big fancy apartments cacked. up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. Alright, I'm not sorry that I hit you. You just saved yourself a world of pain, kid. Yeah, right. For paying me. When Kellum finds out what I've done, just I to be clear. Long. And I can't do anything about it but hide. Krios, you got any kindness for me? Put a bullet in Kellum before you go. Oh boy. Okay, we've learned a lot. Your Much son, has occurred. Your son is in some bad, some bad league bears. That couldn't have been easy. Bad news Lots bears league. More about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees, bare feet, black, a dead end future looking up at me, worshiping the petty gifts I offer. They really I go all in on this. Back then. He's got quite a way I with words. Him. As I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall <clears throat> every moment I spent with Mouse. But it's not quite it like having him arm. there with you. Smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him. That anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios? He asks. Knock off the mopey crap? It's not your fault, man. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people, know this. I understand. Bailey. Look, this sniper rifle weighs more than some cars. I thought you were gonna say this sniper rifle weighs more than your son. <laughs> this sniper rifle... Every time I kill someone with this sniper rifle, I add another ball bearing to the inside of it, so it gets a little bit heavier. They told I'm me Commander that- I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite sniper rifle on the Citadel. That's correct. They told me that I was gonna carry that weight, and I may or may not be a cowboy, but I can at least carry this really, really massive sniper rifle. It is a cannon! And you may or may not- you may or may not be in space. Maybe. Yes? Finding Cole yet? Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. So? You want to accept bribes? Fine. I don't care how you run your precinct. I want to know if you're going to help me. Yeah, I'll help. Absolutely. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out I of I appreciate sight. that. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, sure, he bribes me, but also fuck him. 
Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. Hey, Bailey, tell me more about the duct rats. Can I use that to interrogate him? You hear this gory crap about what happens to kids who are poor on the Citadel? It looks like they kicked his him. ass. Tell Bailey we're ready. A little bit. I mean, that's space cops. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. I love how many people end up getting, Captain, like, completely blocked here. off because Middle of Shepard's sniper rifle. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? You should probably be a good cop. You talk to him. Appeal to his self-interest. I love that those are the options. It. Because of course! Very well. Yeah, totally. I'll pretend to be on his side. But if we waste too much time negotiating, Bailey won't be able to stall Kellum's advocate. It's alright. We'll just look for blue or and or red yeah, options. These restraints, That's Bailey. all we need. That's right. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? I'm Commander Shepard. This is my favorite. And this is my favorite. Good cop, bad this cop. Is my favorite. On the <laughs> this is my favorite detainment cell on the Citadel. It's my favorite interrogation room on the Citadel. You ordered a hit on someone. You're gonna tell me who. The only person I'm talking to is my advocate. Here's how it works. I ask a question, you answer the question. You speak when you're spoken to. Who the fuck do you think you Mr. are? Mr. Kellum, I don't believe you were paying attention. Nice. Jen Hale's really good you're at just this. your job. Yeah. Me again and I'll take your money too. I'm gonna straighten you out as soon as Bailey gets here. Just tell us what we need to know. My associate isn't very patient. My associate. What are you, fraud boy? A little sidekick? What, kid? You gonna bore me into confessing? You ain't shit. Come on, hit me. Works for okay. me. No! Got no problem with that. Do you know what I'll do to you when I get out of here? Keep it up, tough guy. You'll leave in a bag. Go to hell. I was already there. I got back. He's up. He's no use to us dead. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being patient. Give me a name or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. Joram! Joram Talid. Dorian in the 800 blocks. He's unconscious. No need to wake him up, I think. I'll hit him again. I'm not shedding any tears. Not over the likes of him. I'd hope to avoid unnecessary bloodshed. Pure results come from pure methods. I worry about what is yet to come. You, you should... didn't even give him the opportunity to play good cop. No. What's the story? <laughs> this Why is my this is my boy. favorite. It's bad cop, bad cop. Named Joram I'm both cops. Bad cop. Joram. Bad cop, yeah. impotent cop. You might have seen his posters around. Bad He's cop, also person in the room. Crime on the ward. That's right. The thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Anti-human? Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? Before the Battle of the City. I mean, things are pretty bad on Earth here, too. We violent upstarts. Look Not what's happened too far then. away from human what an actual political for months. Yeah. platform humans. might look like. Anderson Look, it's can, racism. Some people have lived on you guys like racism, right? I got these hats ships. you can buy. <laughs> they see it as a coup. Join my Twitter profile. This is not my problem. I don't give a damn what Joram's politics are. This is about Thane's son, not him. I'm also kind of anti-human, at you least going by our people our last uh, game's actions. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two yeah. need to get to the 800 blocks. I'm not yes, anti-human. I'm just pro everyone. You go up to that. Oh man! Except those fucking humans. Fuck those guys. <laughs> All races matter. Except humans. You go up to that guy who's anti-human and like, you say, "I've killed more humans than you have." I've killed more. What you gonna do? I've killed more humans <laughs> than you'll ever meet. And I'll do it again. I'll do it for free. There he is. How do you want kill to a thousand this? humans before I let the Citadel die. The and this is my favorite box. kill on the Tell Citadel. What he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? Wow, yeah, that guy sticks Krogan out like a sore thumb. Feeling. A little bit. I really liked when you kicked Kellum that guy's ass. Of hunters. 
Grant that my hand be steady, decent. my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. Thane's pretty alright. Why is Thane so fucking cool? It's been wonderful talking with I you. I don't know. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You just said that. I'm following. We can use this. Did somebody just <laughs> shout from the so rafters? So loud. <laughs> and it echoed too. It did echo. So loud. Have you got him? He's around here somewhere. Oh, he, here he is. Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of Cole yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. My favorite's for the... My favorite. It's my favorite. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite take on the Citadel. I'm Commander Shepard. Fuck all humans. Honestly. What have they ever done for us? These, these lousy humans stealing our jobs. I'm Commander Shepard, and points to self. This is my favorite human on the Citadel. I've got him. Make Shepard great again. I didn't know we were talking about the remastered trilogy. Oh, jeez. Make Mass Effect 3 great again? Can you give me an update? I mean, he's in there. I'm almost in position. He's letting the bodyguard do all the work. That lets him deny involvement. Fair enough. That's that's a politician for you. Also, hey, keepers. Yeah. No sign of trouble. No, not yet. Man, remember when we were on Tuchanka? Remember how cool that was? I do remember being on Tuchanka. Tuchanka was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Oh, he's booking it. Oh yeah, there he goes. Turians can run pretty fast considering their legs are bent wrong. Damn, Shepard. or better? Better, actually. They can probably ju- hmm. 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 If anyone shouldn't be able to book it, it's probably Krogan's. Stay close, Shepard. Well, Krogan's, they're all muscle, right? Yeah, but they must weigh like a ton. At the very least, they would be slow to start. What's he doing? Yeah, prob you, you probably got um, a slow doing? start, but a lot of acceleration. One of guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. I'm relocating. Oh, there's a dude here who's, like, 40 pounds heavier than everyone else in the room. He must also be here for a shakedown. He wants to become the strongest creature in the universe. Where is he now? Yes, sir. You're running for office. Lots of people watch you. Someone's walking up. I need you to stay close or we'll lose him. I'm listening, Thane. He's meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. He looks nice. Maybe he saw Kolyad in here somewhere. Also a possibility. He probably Trump did notice head. us. I'll try to go around. Considering we've been like shouting you better do the damn job ten I feet above his head. Yes, sir. It's not quite Metal Gear Solid. Hey, who are you? I don't have time for this. Oh! Sorry, kid. Next time, don't be there. I'm loving these prompts. It's always just punch now or punch later. Not quite as, uh, not as quite, not quite as up to the task as Thane. Thane. I saw. He's heading to Talid's apartment. Oh, 
I like this cool lighting. It's pretty good lighting. Call yet. This, this is a joke. Now, now you show up. Help me, Drell. I'll do whatever you want. C-Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get oh, hey, Bailey. Way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. Who is that? That's I'll have snipers outside. I don't need your help. Kolyad is super familiar. What the hell? Is he Yuri Lowenthal? Talid, get the hell out of here. He's Yuri Lowenthal. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch. Thane's dying. Your father doesn't have much time left, Kolyat. I should go. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you can die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. Oh. You were there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Oh. I hate you, You're Assassin right. Dad. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men, the Ringleaders. I hurt them. Eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were... older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Kolyat, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever No! Enjoyed. I know who that this is! The conversation you should have in front of strangers. That's Quentin Flynn! Boys, take Kolyat and his father back to the precinct. Shh. Listen Give for the jowls. in as much time as they need. I'm you... gonna look this up. That's Quentin Flynn. Him do that. You think he's the That's only totally man right screwed up raising a son? I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. I'm gonna look this up. Kolyat Krios. We saved everybody. Nobody's dead. We did it again. Good Every job. Everybody's good to go. We also got even more damage for our heavy pistol. I just, like, imagine that, that voice modulation, but it's just, you're a real egotistical woman. It's totally <laughs> him. You are correct. Yeah, creepo pervert that he is. It's Raiden. Anyone else you want to know while I'm here? Um, can you tell me Got who I open? am? I've been in there a while. I've been trying to figure uh, out. Oh, you're not in the game. Lot. You're not oh, in the game. You're right. In the archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people. Can you were tell killed. me? Like someone was cleaning house. Oh wow. The prime suspect nope. was a drill. I'm trying to think of anybody else, died. and I'm like, there's a lot of people in here that I. There will be, there's probably at least one celebrity per episode, if not more. I'll tell you something cool. Ten yeah. years is a long time. DC Whoever Douglas is Legion. That probably doesn't exist anymore. Yes, DC yeah, Douglas is Legion. Right about that. And DC Douglas is great. So is Legion. Yeah? Don't look up anything else about Legion. Legion's great. How'd it go? Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Yeah, that Your could be the whole... Like, no one you I could put that on the back it. of the Mass Effect, like, Legendary Edition as, we'll keep talking and see what happens, the game. I watched those guys shaking yeah. businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. The kid wants to make a difference, give him community service. Yeah. Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary. Strictly within CSEC. You're good at bribing people and breaking the rules. Yeah. Come on. Interesting. I'll think about it. Also, Patriarch. Thank you, Kate. Jim Cummings. Very sim similar voice profile to John Goodman. Yes. I, like, that dude's, yeah. I couldn't place it, but absolutely, he sounds familiar. We can't get through there. Anyway, I don't think we can. Yeah, I don't think we can. Phil Lamar is mouse. Neither I... of us even thought that. No. Fucking props to uh, Phil Lamar. I 
did not know that at all. Also props to Phil Lamar for uh, fooling me for years into not realizing that he was Static Shock. I didn't know that. He's just, he sounds so young. So young. Also, remember that, that kid you punched in the stomach? Which one? The, the most one? recent one. Yes. Yuri Lowenthal, just in case you weren't sure. Oh no, you can tell with him. He's just punching. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah. Un like, okay. Yuri Lowenthal, unfortunately, will always be punchable because at the forefront of my mind, he's Sasuke. At the forefront of my mind, he's fucking Matt Miller. Well, okay. He's, uh... In my mind, you have Yuri Lowenthal is... First, he's Sasuke. Second, he's Spider-Man. And third, he's everyone in New Vegas. That's true. That like, is very true. Ev including you. That's also very true. Um... You know what? While we're doing all of this, let's go ahead and help Zaid. Why not? Let's get the let's get our, our DLC guys out of the way. We've already helped Samara. We'll help Zaid too. And we'll <laughs> save the Firewalker DLC for later. I don't want to do that right now. We'll talk about Firewalker when the time comes. Also, I don't know about you. I'd like to take a quick five minute. Uh, I'd like to use the restroom. Go for it. Put us on B or B. All right. Take it easy, everybody. We will be right back. And we are back. I just, uh, off screen, just while we were doing that, I spent a little bit of, uh, a little bit of our probes and a little bit of our money. And, uh, we're doing, we're doing well. Doing well. But On now we're back. That's back right. from the strange land beyond the veil. <laughs> Past the Perseus veil. That's right. Mud, sweat, and pores is how Blue Sun's mercenaries characterize the planet that gave birth to their home office. This lush no, garden spores. world. No, spores. Spores. Very different. Mud, sweat, and spores. Big fans of uh, Will Wright up in here. This lush garden world is known for its heavy plant and fungal life, creating spectacular jungle zones over much of its eight continents. Despite the persistent problems with rot and rust, Zoria attracts investors and corporations from all throughout the galaxy, since it has exploited only a fraction of its potential resources. The Blue Suns dominate security contracts on Zoria so much that residents describe them less like a monopoly and more like a conquering regime. Here we go. Sounds like a... a, a, a den for mercenaries. Shocker. A good place to get up to some illicit shit. The best kind of shit, really. And an unfortunately very profitable place. What's your new, uh, what's your new thing here, Morden? Or Thane? Oh, Thane's got- oh my god. <laughs> look at- look at this! Look at Thane with his sunglasses! Oh, that's very... I say you use that one. That's, that's very, what I say. That's super goofy. Uh, and Samara, also. Hers is very cool. Just Yeah, what's her new look like? It's just black and gold. Pretty good. Uh, who should we bring along with us? We got Zaid and we got uh, somebody else from Merc Work. Hmm, Merc Work, you say? Been a while since we've had Jack with us. I was gonna say bring Grunt, but we always bring Grunt. Bring Jack. Bring Jack. Also kind of want to get that metal thing off of her eyes so that we can at least... Like, she's at least emoting in cutscenes. Like, we've spent almost no time actually looking at the face of this character unlike everyone else. Yeah, but then there's the everything else. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It, look, she does get another, uh, another cool uh, outfit for completing her loyalty quest, so that'll be a good one. Yeah, we haven't done that yet, have we? No. And unfortunately, you want to save that one for last for... reasons. Reasons that will become apparent. He's got that really awesome back tattoo. 
Yeah. That's a really fucking cool tattoo. Tapping into Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. So this is a very pretty Star planet. Bravo. A shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. This is a surprisingly dense little jungle for Mass Effect. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Let's go. I'm sorry, this dude kind of looked like Conrad Werner for a second. A little bit. Monkey! I mean, Pijack! Alien monkey. Freaky alien monkey. Freaky ghost bed. That's right. I ain't afraid no sleep. I ain't afraid no bed. Take a position. Likely these people are not runaways. Although we don't get paid to shoot them this time, so we probably just won't. Give me That's some, uh, like, some Metal Gear Solid 3 vibes here a little bit. A little bit. Whoop! Alright. Nice. Good one, Shepard is... Shepard is the hero of Pay Me. A little bit. I didn't even pay attention how much money we got from Mouse. I just wanted to get some money. He could have given us like two credits and I would have been like, yeah, that was worth it. Pay me. How about that? How about a curving rocket launcher? So we in the biz call those mortars. Mortars. I always think of a mortar as a... Reinforcements incoming. We got your backs. Hey, that was Jen Hale. I always think of mortars as, like, ground-based, firing up in the air in the arc, right? I mean, the basic idea is still the same. That's true. The largest suppository in space. Well, maybe not until the next game. Mass Effect Andromeda is the largest suppository in space. Yeah. I always think of a mortar as, like, this is it's an indirect fire weapon. The That's the crux of it. Sounds awful. Sounds like he needs to get shot. Glad to see you and I agree. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup. Started, you ago. say? So yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you found the blue? I've sun? killed so many because of your people. Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books. I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. It's a long run. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge. Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For 20 years, I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? Jeez. With all this hate running around in your veins, how did you live? You survived a gunshot? How did you survive? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. That applies to all three of us here. We better get moving. I'll say. I didn't intend for, like, Jack to be thematically appropriate here either. They know we're here. They even kind of match, like, color-wise. Bring it on, you There's definitely, a like, a scheme here. And then you've just got Shepard in her fucking anime armor. <laughs> we can use this. Squad Charlie, Delta, mass of the gatehouse. Ooh, Palladium. I'll take it. We got him. Bit of a... It's a bit of a, like a Halo mixed with an Uncharted going on here. A little bit, yeah. I would play that game. Holy shit, I, know I would you play would. that game. I know that you would. 
Zaid Masani. You finally tracked me down, Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. You sound like Actually, it hurts when it talks. Shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are again. No cell. What was that? Gone nearsighted old friend. Burn you son of a bitch. Look, we've done this twice. It's still not this getting old. This has already happened. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. As we go through this mission, I want you to keep something in mind also. What's that? Remember that we could have gotten Zaid immediately. Like, this could have been the first of this type of mission that we do. Opening the gate. It was... Yeah, alright, warn me next time. Next time you're gonna blow I wonder if it scales. Know about it first. Vito was confident. What do you mean? A lot of men. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we like, if you're like level one, do no the enemies scale, or do you are just like chipping away at nothing? Oh, no. No, you, uh... The, the difficulty... The difficulty scales, I believe, along with you. You don't make a move unless I know about it first. This is my mission. Who can Remember be edgier that? this mission? I us or him? I came here to kill Vito Santiago. If you want my help on your mission, you better make damn sure that man dies today. Oh boy. You want him dead, then he dies. I don't care what else happens, as long as Vito swallows a bullet. We're, we're having like a... We're having <clears throat> something of a measuring contest here. I came here to help you, man. I didn't need this. Oh wow, this but place you is, sure wanted it. This place is really coming apart. Yeah, wow, that was kind of profound and thorough. Not something you see a whole lot in this game. Also, palladium, something that you do see a lot of in this game. to shut them off the whole place is gonna blow like that no time Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now what you just want to leave them you're willing to watch these people die damn right I am we stop to help these people and Vito gets away and if he gets away I'm blaming you forget loyalty fuck that we're here to free these people we're going in what I just say about telling me I before you do things like this if we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it. Who's the goddamn commander around here? Sorry, who's the goddamn commander around here? Also, there's no time to waste. Let me just awkwardly stare at this guy for half a minute. That's right. No one has anything to say about the situation. Oh my god. If that had been me in that doorway, dead. There's this one. But we do have time to hack. It's always time to hack. I was operating until recently under the assumption that hacking paused the game. No. And then I saw you get shot and I was like, oh. No. Oh. We've just been hacking really good up until this point. Oh my god. Look, I already have enough scars. Have Nonsense, so there's always room for more. So many scars. If we were really going for it with the Renegade, our scars would be much larger. Beep. Oh. God. And you know what? That checks out. I'm not a very good person and I have scars all over my body. Oh no. I mean, I'm not a very good person either, and my eyes definitely grow, glow red. Like, oh man, you gotta get me some of that. That's what I want. That would be pretty cool. That would make it worth it, right? I would be mean to people if I could have that power. I am mean to people, and I don't have that power. That's right. You're getting all of the all of the bad and none of the good. Upstairs, got it, thank you. 
I was like, do I shoot the glass? Do I Hans Gruber it? When has shooting the glass ever worked? Answer me that. Once. It worked once when we were trying to get to Nasana Dantius. And I don't think it's ever worked a second time. That's true. Ooh, a more palladium. This will help me buy things that make us even more this unfair. Might be useful. So will this. More ammo for the beam. Good old beam. All right, looks like everybody's alive. The fires are out. You guys get the fuck out of here. Go! Get out of here, you idiot! Fuck, we're all dead! Get the fuck out! My god, did that smell good. <laughs> That's the part that gets me. My god, did that smell good. I don't want the firestorm, but valuable? I'll pick it up for now. It is what you think Time it is. Die. Time to die? Apparently it's time to die. I, I, I don't know. That I don't know about that. I press X to doubt. That to seems... Right. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh. Well, problem solved. We'll keep it for this. I mission. mean, it worked. You can't. You can't say that it didn't. That's right. I won't say that it didn't work. I'll just say, it's no particle beam. That's what I will say. It's the particle beam, but with no range. It's the particle beam, but it hasn't quite grown up yet. It's trying its best. That's right. If the fire like stayed on the ground or something, it would be it would be way cooler. If it wasn't quite like a video game flamethrower. Yeah. I've got no shields. Oh wow! Look at our look at our shiny sniper rifle through our body. Imagine, like, what, uh, running into a situation where you've got a flamethrower on your back, and then somebody also kills you with a second flamethrower. And then it's just a cook-off at that point. In more ways than one. That's right. Good thing we brought Jack. Like, making a Cleaning out. Yeah, totally. Just the- Oh my god, the screen! Look away if you get motion sick. If you start to get motion sick, just look closer and think about how much less sick you would be if you were watching a better screen. Damn. Just total gib. Ooh, that dude got it bad. They both got it really bad. That second guy especially. Yeah, he got it like opposite, but still bad. Thanks, Jack. I appreciate the support. That didn't even hit anybody. I just want to break shit. It's all about the he said, she said bullshit. Think you better quit shooting that shit. You be leaving with a fat man. Oh my god. Where did you come from? Where did you come from? I mean, they're Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, um, flamethrower Joe? Uh, I see we're getting into, um, high school gymnasium core. Brand new genre, like, busting up the charts. Mandatory pep rally core. Oh man, don't remind me. It's your fault for bringing up Cotton Eye Joe. I don't know where he came from, and I don't think anybody has ever wondered where he lives. Also, apparently that song it has like implicitly racist roots. The last time that I looked it up, I was like, oh boy. 
No wonder it's really popular here in Florida. Oh boy. You may be wondering how I got myself in this mess. <clears throat> oh, this is rough. Jack, you okay there? Damn it! Watch where you're shooting. <clears throat> sure, Jack. I mean, seems safe. Oh God. Oh boy! That was now hour you've done it. Oh, boy. Look at that dead space death. There you go. The one downside to the sniper. Okay, the two downsides to the sniper rifle. One is the low capacity for ammo. Two is that switching to it is often slow. So the point that if you're if you're switching between this and also heavy weapons, you're you're opening yourself up a lot of the time. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long though. This isn't a difficult combat encounter. It's just a big one. Imagine, we blew that thing up with a cryo round. <laughs> Here goes his visor. Pretty good. It's pretty good. I can't seem to take cover against this. Never should have come here! What is that from? That's another one of those lines. Never should have come here. That's one of these. Was that Mass Effect 1? That's either this... That might be this game. But like I can think of a different take of the same line that's from Borderlands. Definitely not Borderlands. Or at least... I, I believe that it's in Borderlands, but that's not what I'm thinking of. It would be a game that you've played, for sure. Yeah, but remember, when I played Borderlands, I... I was actually playing that game basically on mute, and instead playing the Tron Legacy soundtrack at full blast. Fair. I don't know if I, uh... I don't know if I mentioned this, uh, on stream at any point, but... Apparently they releasing a newer version of um, of the Tron Legacy soundtrack now in 2021 with uh, unreleased tracks, like nine unreleased tracks, which is incredible and very random. You did mention that to me. Yeah, I was very happy to find that out. This will put him down. God, we don't have any ammo for the sniper rifle. I'm working on it. I just don't want him to fall on us. Who's next? This will put him down. I'm glad that Zayid's having fun. You know, it's been a it's been a rough couple of years for him, evidently. Let's see, uh, we get our disruptor ammo going on. That'll do. All right. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Maybe pick up some of this stuff on the way. More than anything, I need more shoot juice. Also, Jack is on the floor. Jack is on the floor. There we go. Good call. This dude reminds me of, um... The first season of Red vs. Blue, when they're just like continually firing uh, the the same mounted gun at Griff and I want to say Simmons, and he's just like, "Don't these guys ever run out of ammo?" And the episode ends and cuts back to them, and he's still just firing. I do remember that. I miss Red vs. Blue, and I mean like Blood Gulch Chronicles, not like 
whatever that monstrosity turned into over the last decade that it's been. The last time I saw Red vs. Blue, like, there was a lavishly produced CG fight scene in every episode that I watched, and I was like, what is this? What is happening? That's what they say, man. You either you either die a ghost in the shell or live long enough to see yourself become a One Piece. Oh boy, Red vs. Blue. Uh, red vs. Blue. Fuck Red vs. Blue. Um, I, my brain is failing. The second thing you said, One Piece. One Piece is even pretty good. It's just so long. Oh you no. You just cost me 20 years of my life. Seriously? Ah, son of a bitch. Get off. You deserve that. You started this fire, Zaid. It makes sense that you'll burn in it. Yeah. Screw you. But come on, get me out of this shithole. Why should I trust you, dude? You put your revenge ahead of the mission. How can I trust oh, no. you to be there? Shepard, no, your you? face. I'll do what I was gonna have paid to do, Shepard. Just don't expect any more than that. Now stop screwing around. Let's go. Ah, oh, shit. Come on, let's go. You're a madman, Zaid. But I need a certain amount of crazy if I'm gonna stop the Reapers. I like you. I like your attitude. that out before you let Vito get away. Let's get the hell out of here. As you might imagine, you can absolutely just gun Zaid down right then and there. I don't want to do that. Zaid's pretty cool, and he gets better in the second, the third game. Come on. Let's go. I don't like that he pulled a gun on us. I'll say that. I say that unflinching loyalty is boring. I... I'll go ahead and be the devil's advocate here. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I... There's a really good plot point uh, and, and like an ongoing narrative in the Dresden Files about how um, a a very big bad boss keeps a certain character around as their underling, mostly because they're actively uh, not a yes man, right? They're mm -hmm. constantly challenging ideas. They're constantly being like, this seems like bullshit. I don't want to deal with this. Also, I don't want to deal with this. This seems like bullshit. Firewalker, we'll deal with that later. Um, and yeah, like the whole idea of, look, if I really wanted to hire somebody to keep an eye on me, keep a, to keep the... Keep me on my feet. Keep me on keep my me feet. Keep me on my toes, people. Watch, watch my back for me. I wouldn't want them to be somebody who only tells me what I want to hear. Also, Zaid was pretty mad. I understand maybe wanting to... Wanted to shoot stuff. We've wanted to shoot stuff, too. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you. We've got roughly 10 minutes left uh, since we started a little bit late. Is there anywhere that you would like to start? Hmm. We got a couple different. We should help here. Bali because I want to see. I want to see the uh, the migrant fleet. The migrant fleet. Okay, we will head this way. And what do you know? It's right there. A fleet of fifty thousand craft holding over seventeen million quarians. The migrant fleet is the largest array of spacefaring vessels in the known galaxy. Though Corians on pilgrimage have visited most settled worlds in the galaxy, few outsiders have ever stepped foot inside the Corian ships. Well, let's go. Let's go make you may also, You may also note that 
the decisions you make in Mass Effect 2 could have dire ramifications in Mass Effect 3. What I want to know is, was that loading screen tip there before Mass Effect 3 came out? Yes. I Yes, it definitively, I can tell you for sure that was there when the game came out. But I appreciate the candor. But I also think it's really, I, I think it's way funnier to assume that it was not. You know? Okay, we got hmm. Tally with us. Who do you who do you want to talk politics with? Who do you want for politics? I say either Miranda or Morden. Morden seems like a cool guy to keep around. And we get to see his new outfit too. Yeah. I say new, but you know, newish. If Ooh. I haven't seen it, it's new to me. That's right. We can either get longer and uh, more frequently and for a longer duration or everybody gets cryo ammo everybody getting cryo ammo seems worse based on what you told me yeah i agree also we might as well just make ourselves a tank right might as well a little tur a tank is maybe wrong. like a like a, a walking turret this is talizora vasnima naraya requesting permission to dock with the raya our system has your ship flag to Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. This is a really cool area. I, I like this. Uh, I like this whole vibe a whole lot. The Quarians are rad. The Quarians are rad. Captain Shepard, Tally Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. Captain, you say? I've never actually reached the rank of Captain. Technically, I'm no longer in the Alliance military at all. You're the commander of the Normandy, responsible for the lives aboard it. That You're a captain to us. Among our people. May you stand between your crew and Harn as you lead them through the empty quarters of the stars. Keel us alive. It's an old ship captain's blessing, Shepard. Keel us alive. Tally helped the Normandy's crew out of many difficult situations. I'm here to return the favor. I understand. As the commander of the vessel, she serves... Also, the lighting here is chemistry. super good. I wish I could do more to help Yes. Tally. Very shiny. The trial requires that I be officially neutral, but I'm here if you need to talk. They're charging you with bringing active get into Everybody the likes Tally. Of the secret project. That's insane. I never brought active get aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. Um... You sent Geth materials back to the migrant fleet? Yes, my father was working on the project. He needed the materials. If I sent back something that was only damaged, not permanently inactive, no. No, no, I checked everything. I was careful. Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tali, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. Thanks, guys. Everybody kind of knows that this is bullshit. Like, even here, everybody kind of knows. Mm -hmm. This is the most space politics planet out of all of them. You should speak with I say Ron. planet with the uh, Turian quotation Big marks. Big air quotes. That's right. Turian quotations, I like that. If Tali Zora can't even get a Quadian captain to stand for her, she's as good as convicted. Hey, come on. I'm as good as any other captain, even if I'm not technically a captain. We should probably stop here before we get ahead of ourselves. Yeah. Tali Zorovas Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Hello, very expensive voice actress. Auntie Ron, Shepard Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaran Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron. You called me Vas Normandy. That's true. I'm afraid I did, Tally. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. Oh, are you part of the trial? Can you're you help? Admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. 
My history with Talia and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. Why does her name matter? I take it being associated with a human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. Great dishonor. Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zorovas Nima. Whatever we must call you legally. We should go. I guess we should get started. Does Tally have a defense counselor? <clears throat> Someone who speaks for her side. Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, <gasps> recognized by Quarian law. What? And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. No way! Space You get to be a lawyer! You would actually speak for my defense. Objection! I'm honored. I'll do everything in my power to help you, Tally. Thank you, Shepard. I could not ask for a better counselor. Our legal rules. Just give me simple. a couple of tubs no of hair gel, and I'll I'll push it way out. back into a big spike. The truth as best It'll be really can. cool. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. Got their own little ecosystem. The idea of the migrant fleet is so cool. Really, really is. I'm super happy with this. Again, it, it's easy to say planet, uh, but I'm really happy with this whole, like, this, this mission in general, this area is great. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us a lie. Kill us a lie. The accused Talia Zoravas Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Objection! Fuck that guy then in particular. Then you should not have declared Tally crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Tally's captain, Shepard must stay. That's right. Objection withdrawn. That's right. Shepard vs. Normandy. Your crew member Tally Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? Oh, you better believe it. If it helps Tally, I will. But in her heart, she remains Tally Zora Vasnima, a proud member of the Migrant Fleet. I regret that her captain is forbidden to stand at her side today. Ooh. Nobody has been forbidden from anything. It is a simple... Lie to them if you must, Tal Chorus, but don't lie to me and expect me to stay silent. The human is right. Wait, shut the fuck up, Zal Chorus. Shepard's willingness to represent Tally Zora in this hearing is appreciated. Tally, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? She couldn't have done this. How could Tally have brought guests to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tally isn't accused of bringing back entire units, only parts that could spontaneously reactivate. But also, Admiral Zen is another very famous Every voice actor. Was disabled and harmless. Might re uh, and recognize her from um, Farscape and also Uncharted. Working. This is bullshit. This is, a, this is a sham. What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. What? This sounds like oh, bullshit. Isla. Dude, shut up. At the Quarians valued family. How do you justify springing this on Tally in the middle of a damn trial? Our apologies. Tally should have been informed. Yes, she should Shepherd, have. we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you boshtet! Oh! I intend to take the Alarai from the Geth. This proposal is extremely dangerous. Listen, I'm gonna do it for Tally. I don't give a fuck about any of this. With your permission, Admirals, yes. The good Even of the though I actually do. First. And Tally needs to find her father. Agreed. 
And if you die on this worthy mission, Tally, we will see that your name is cleared of these charges. We can discuss that later. Then it is decided. My God. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. You know, whichever comes first. <clears throat> I am just so in love with the idea of the migrant fleet. It's so fucking cool. I would love a game that takes place. Thank Imagine you playing as a quarry and even. The Admiral sounds Going sure on your own pilgrimage. My father is already dead. But yeah. I don't know. We it gives you an excuse to explore the galaxy. There. You all right? How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I I don't know. He he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard, and I need to find out. We should probably talk to people, like all of them. Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? Talk to every people. We can talk with the admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. Listen, if you're on I trial, we should probably schmooze as much as we can. Privately. That's right. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Understood. Whatever Geth are on the Alarai have likely built more of themselves. Expect heavy resistance. Alright. That answers my next question. Yep. We're fighting the Geth. And I can't My wait. next question was going to be how does how does sending a few like Geth bits equate to an entire ship takeover? And the answer is that they can reproduce and self-replicate. Hmm. It's almost like the Geth aren't just robots. It's almost like the Geth have some interesting stuff going on, and I can't wait to find out what that is next time. Because the Geth are super cool. Anything you want to say before we head out? The voice actress you were thinking of is one Claudia Black. Claudia Black is, uh, yeah, she's the, she's the Farscape lady. She's um, Chloe Frazier in uh, in Uncharted. But there's another one. There's um, the other woman is from. Uh, she might also be from Battlestar Galactica. I again, I'm not as familiar with Battlestar Galactica. But she's in a lot of like space stuff. She's in the Expanse, I think. That mm. that newer show that just came out. She's she's got some pedigree behind her. But Claudia Black totally is also, uh, is, is Zen. The other one, I don't remember her name. Mass Effect 2. Very expensive to make. Mass Effect 2. Until next time. Take it easy, everybody. Thank you for watching.